This next section is going to talk about several layers that are superficial to the stratum basale. Uh, if you haven't figured it out yet, look at this image in the background of my slide here. This is a microscope slide of the integumentary system. This part is the epidermis, and this is the stratum basale right here. You can see they're nice, tall columnar cells, although oh, no, they're not that tall. And then up above that, kind of cuboidal cells, and those are the layers we're going to talk about next. So the first layer above the stratum basale is the stratum spinosum. If it sounds like these are spiny cells, that is exactly what it means. These cells have these little spines on them, which are actually the intercellular junctions. This is a rather thick layer of stratified cuboidal epithelium. And again, these cells aren't really square, um, and they're actually in several different shapes, but they're not really tall and they're not really flat. So they're categorized as cuboidal and of course stratified because there are several layers of them. These are live keratinocytes. Remember, keratinocyte are the cells that make keratin. They're created by these cells down here in the stratum basale. Uh, some of them do go on to do mitosis. You can see one here and one here doing mitosis, uh, but mostly they're produced by these cells down here. And the intercellular junctions between them are the things that make this layer look spiny. Uh, there are also, within this layer, dendritic cells, uh, epider epidermal dendritic cells, which are immune cells that can actually move around through this layer to engulf any possible pathogens that get in there. Um, now, this term dendritic comes from the root dendro, D-E-N-D-R-O, which means tree. So these dendritic cells have branches on them like a tree. So that's where they get their name. And we're gonna see dendritic cells in some other tissues as well. So know that term. Now next up is a narrower, a thinner layer called the stratum granulosum. And these cells are full of granules, and those granules are keratin. So these are still keratinocytes, and they are working on making lots and lots of keratin and building up that keratin inside their cytoplasm. They also make lipids. You remember that lipids are made by smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So these cells have lots of smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and then they secrete that, those lipids into the extracellular space to create a barrier for water getting through. If you've ever heard um, ads for uh, like skin creams that say it gets deep into the layers of your cells to replace your body's natural oils, these are the oils they're talking about. And um, some moisturizers are actually able to penetrate between the cells up here to get down deep into these layers to help replenish some of that oil. Or for some people who just don't make as much, uh, as, as many lipids from these cells, if you have dry skin, it's because these cells don't make as much. And so uh, skin creams or moisturizers can then add to the natural moisture that your uh, cells make. As the cells move up through this layer, the stratum granulosum, they are going to start to die off. They fill up with keratin, and then they actually uh, get rid of the parts of the cytoplasm, uh, like the other organelles. They flatten out the nucleus, the other organelles disintegrate, the cell dies, and so that when they reach the stratum corneum, the top layer, they're actually dead, and all they are is a little shape of, um, of keratin. The next layer is not found in all skin. It's called the stratum lucidum. Lucid means light. And the stratum lucidum is this very thin white layer, just right here. It's usually only two to three cells thick. And it is found only in thick skin such as on the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. It's a couple layers of stratified squamous epithelium. The granulosum is stratified squamous as well. Uh, 
And these cells, they're full of keratin, um, and they're just an extra layer between the granulosum and the top layer, which is the stratum corneum. On thin skin, which is the thin on, the skin on the rest of your body, don't see a stratum lucidum. So this is the difference between thick skin, see how thick this top stratum corneum is, and this tiny little stratum lucidum here, versus thin skin with a much thinner stratum corneum. Um, and this one doesn't have that stratum lucidum, it just has the stratum granulosum. So this stratum lucidum only found in thick skin, and that is the skin on the palms of the hand and the soles of the feet. The layers underneath the lucidum are in every layer of skin. Lucidum is the only one that's only found in some places. The stratum granulosum, cells that are building up keratin, and then the stratum spinosum, keratinocytes, making keratin, building up melanin, um, and that's also where we find the dendritic cells. And in the next section, we'll talk about the stratum corneum and uh, things that grow out of the stratum corneum, including your fingernails and toenails.